of eligible young men. Although I have the same list as the dear Duchess of Bolton has. We work together, in fact. However, I am quite ready to enter your name, should your answers be what a really affectionate mother requires. Do you smoke? Uh, well, uh, yes, I, I must admit I smoke. I'm glad to hear it. A gentleman should always have an occupation of some kind. <laughs> there are far too many idle men in London as it is. How old are you? Uh, 29. A very good age to be married at. I have always been of opinion that a man who desires to get married should know either everything or nothing. Which do you know? I know nothing, Lady Bracknell. I'm pleased to hear it. I do not approve of anything that tampers with natural ignorance. <laughs> ignorance is like a delicate, delicate exotic fruit. Touch it and the bloom is gone. The whole theory of modern education is radically unsound. Fortunately, in England, at any rate, education produces no effect whatsoever. <laughs> if it did, it would prove a serious danger to the upper classes and probably lead to acts of violence in Grosvenor Square. <laughs> what is your income? Uh, between seven and eight thousand a year. In land or in investments? Oh, in investments, chiefly. That is satisfactory. What between the duties expected of one during one's lifetime and the duties exacted from one after one's death, land has ceased to be either a profit or a pleasure. Gives one position, prevents one from keeping it up. That's all that could be said about land. Uh, I have a country house with some land, of course, attached to it, about uh, 1,500 acres, I believe, but I don't depend on that for my real income. In fact, as far as I can make out, the poachers are the only people who make anything out of it. A country house. How many bedrooms? 